Hello guys! Welcome again for another video. This is Lorenzoni Watch Your Service guys. So, kung hindi ka pa nakalike and subscribe, subscribe na! So, for NFT games, for crypto updates, for financial planning updates, stock market, anything about finances. No? So, again, hit that like button, subscribe na rin, no? and notification bell. No? And for this topic, we we'll talk about uh, cryptocurrency and safety guidelines. So, uh, this is for you, no, para at least ma-protectahan yung mga assets mo. So, maraming pumapasok dito, marami tayo naririnig, marami nahahak, marami na nanakawa ng coins or NFTs, no, or yung iba, aksi nga, di ba? So, somehow, this video, no, pasana panoorin mo and ginawa natin to para ma-protectahan, no, yung assets mo. Okay, so reminders, no, cryptocurrencies and their underlying infrastructure are still new and immature. So, right now, alam naman natin, uh, wala pang masyadong adaptation then but of course it's growing no and even if you follow all the directions no maaari pa ring mawala yung pera mo or yung assets mo so that's why it's very important no to be reminded no kaya ginawa ko tong video na to kay iba mga galing na sa inyo mga galing na matagal na sa NFT but still somehow ako ren I'm reminding myself na to be careful at all times. At pwede, sa isang igla, pwede mahak, pwede mawala lahat ng pinaghirapan natin, na pinagipunan natin. So that's because many of the service providers in the sector are still young, under-regulated, and inexperienced. So, totoo po yan. No? And, uh, second one is, ito, like ko sinasabi, no, huwag ka magbenta ng baka, huwag ka magbenta ng kung ano-ano, no, para lang sa cryptocurrencies or NFT games no, na tinatawag. So, always use ra rational position sizing. So, that means only investing what you can uh, affordable, uh, comfortable losing. Lagi ko sinasabi in each and every video, kahit sa lulo, sa disclosure, invest only what you can afford to lose. Minsan, lumalabas sa tenga natin, uh, pumapasok, tapos lalabas lang din. So, make sure, no, if you invest in something, ako, before I click that buy button to buy BN to purchase using BNB or other cryptocurrencies, no? Am I comfortable in losing? Kung bukas mag to, mawala yung investor, okay lang ba sa akin? ba? So, I suggest you put no more than 10,000. If kung talagang medyo gipit ka sa budget, no? Uh, to any position, no? Or if you're a small investor, if you're a bigger investor, you can put 30 to 50,000 or more. Depende. Again, don't expect a return. Uh, this is, again, comfortable with losing. Parang somehow, this is a talagang Huwag mong expect That's why, like ko sinasabi, huwag kang bibenta mo yung pangkabuhayan mo. Uutang ka dahil para dito. No, marami po na biktima dyan, yung mga nag-drag pool na games, yung mga cryptocurrencies na nalugi. Utang nila, they thought, no? Kasi fear of missing out. FOMO. No? Kala nila, dire-diretso yung pag ng value or yung assets yung, uh, or yung game, dire-diretso yung income. So marami, nangyari yan. If you know crypto blades, no, yun yung nangyari dyan and other NFT games no? kasi nasabi natin yung mga nag-rug pull no? wala na, wala nang hapol no? again, it's not regulated right now so, that's uh, sinasabi ng SEC yan no? uh, kumbaga wala kayong pag magsumukay sa akin wala kami magagawa okay? so, that's the risk out there so, of course, minimize human error as soon as possible to protect your crypto assets. So, avoid losing them. Send a small amount of your assets to any exchange first to test it out. Once the small sum is accepted, you can send the remainder. So, kung medyo hindi naman ganun kalaki yung gas fee or transaction, or wala, minsan sa Ronin, di ba, wala naman yan sa Axie. So, if you could send small amount, mas maganda. Test mo muna. Ngayon, pag mag-appear doon, tama yung ginawa mo. Di ba? So, send mo na ulit yung remaining no yung big especially if ako pag medyo malaki yung i-transfer ko so ginagawa ko partial it's worth the uh, transaction cost kumbaga yung transaction cost okay lang kaysa na mawala lahat no mapapagtest ka muna and be cautious no when using new services no new websites approving contracts connecting your wallet to those websites so be very very careful some services are fraudulent no scams to avoid falling victim to them, due diligence first. No? So, nakita niyo yung mga video natin, checking, checking their profiles, checking their, uh, checking BSE scan, cho checking uh, token sniffer, no? So, check nyo muna, no? Before putting or approving any transactions. So, and use wallet, no? To store coins. Where possible, we recommend taking possession of coins in a wallet where you can control the private key. 
So if you could invest into hard wallet, cold storage wallets like Trezor, uh, which we discussed in our uh, other videos, mas maganda. Invest on those, especially yung mga nag-axie, yung maraming axies. Again, pag nahaki yung Ronin mo, ubus lahat ng axie mo, including your scholars, yung mga scholars mo and everything. So if you could, again, I think very affordable, 5 to 10,000 yata for these wallets, no? But uh, again, if you have a large sum no, of assets, crypto, uh, cryptocurrencies and NFTs, I suggest you invest on these assets, okay? So even if you do everything correctly, means you can lose money due to order errors, hacks, failures, or exchanges. So may mga slippage and everything. You are responsible for your own digital assets. Remember that. That's why you must follow our instructions carefully. No, yung mga instructions dyan, uh, si pag nanood ka ng mga video, you must follow them as much as possible. Make sure to test exchanges and wallets with small amounts for user errors or potential fraud. And keep your position sizes small. Paulit-ulit tayo because we, I want to emphasize these things. Okay? So, from BSP naman, set up, sinasabi nila in their uh, reminders, so set up and use a dedicated email account. Avoid using same email accounts or username that you have used in public platforms such as social media. So, again, Iba, parehong email, parehong password sa lahat. Very risky po yun. So, if you could use password manager, ako, I use one. no So, use, mag-invest ka, mura lang naman yung software na yun. At least, if you want to generate secure passwords or if you don't want to remember every uh, password, no or ayaw mo yung surat, ayaw mo. Kasi wag mo, wag mo rin isa-save sa notepad o sa Word or sa any, sa computer mo. Ako, hindi nakasave yung passwords ko dyan, no It's on my password manager. It's a Chrome extension. You can check them, no? Uh, I cannot say this. Siyempre, maraming options dyan. So, I cannot say what software. But, ako, meron ako personally. Uh, search nyo lang, marami dyan. Uh, marami, matas naman yung rating. So, I use that, no? Para at least, sabi nga ni BSP, one email, no? Separate passwords then as much as possible, separate emails in every account, especially if in your wallet. So, don't, kasi pag nakita nila na ganito yung wallet mo for your, ah, ganito yung email mo for your wallet, for your account, Tapos ganito sa social media mo, di ba? Pag maulaan nila yon, lahat ma-unlock na nila. Makukuha nila sa'yo. So, of course, keep your uh, virtual currency-related email account to use for yourself. In any VC transaction, users need their email account and password. Okay? So, it's important to secure not only your password, but also your email account. No? So, kahit ako nga, minsan, yung mga address nang hihingi, no? Be very careful, lalo ano na, pag sa mga NFT, sa OpenSea, no? Magulat ka. May mga marireceive kang NFTs doon na wala ka naman binibili. So, make sure wag mo i-open. Hayaan mo lang report nyo sa OpenSea bakit na sa wallet mo yun. So, these are possible. Ano yan eh? This is rampant ngayon no, sa OpenSea. Hopefully, ma-resolve ni OpenSea yan. So, kasi nga, nalalaman nila yung mga wallet address. Kahit, though, na public address yon minsan okay lang magbigay ng wallet address. Pero, as much as possible sa mga social media, pag pinapost mo yon may risk pa rin na padalang ka ng mga malware. Hindi natin masabi. So, kahit yung mga emails, no, ganun din yung nangyari nag, para may mga spam emails, no. Of course, set a strong password, no. Use complex and hard to guess passwords as much as possible. So, avoid reusing the same password for more than ser for more than one service. So, if you could have a set of passwords, no, kung ayaw mong gumawa ng... Ako kasi nga, sabi ko nga sa inyo, meron akong password manager software na ginagamit. Okay, so observe basic internet security, exercise caution in accessing your uh, virtual currency wallet, especially when using Wi-Fi connections, no? Use VPN, virtual private network, if outside ka magko-connect. So, pero sa bahay mo, okay lang. Ako, I have uh, VPN pag nasa labas, and I use, uh, talaga nag invest ako sa mga antivirus, anti-spyware programs, no? Usually, 500, 1,000 a year, no? May mga ganyan. So, uh, ako, I would suggest you do that. Again, this is just minimal no cost compared pag wala yung mga assets mo. So avoid installing software, browser plugins or downloading attachments when from unknown suspicious website and emails. So at the same time do not give your device at an end. One more thing. So I uh, I watched this video no sa Facebook na yung MetaMask niya no, kakopy niya lang mag-send siya ng funds. Pag paste niya, kinopy niya do sa Meta. Pag paste niya nag-iiba yung address. So, be very careful, guys. Pwede mangyari yun. Mawala yung mag, magbago yung ano. Because mag, magbago yung address pag paste niya. So, <laughs> sa iba na send, no? Sa ibang wallet. So, why? Because I think there's a software na installed doon na gumagawa nun or browser plugin. So, be very, very careful. 
uh, for any software na in-install mo dyan, lalo na yung mga freebies, di ba? So, it might be a trap. So, subscribe to multi-factor authentication no? provided by the VC wallet provider. VC user should enable whenever available MFA options to their VC accounts, yung mga 2FA options, di ba? Alam natin yan, Google Authenticator, uh, eh, misan yung text, di ba? Text Authenticator, magte-text sa'yo. If meron, guys, subscribe tayo. It adds more protection talaga. Sulit naman yon yung hassle. Kahit na hassle ka minsan, kailangan mo yung open yung authenticator mo to get the code or kailangan mo maintain yung text, di ba? Minsan hassle, pero okay lang, di ba? Okay lang. Hmm. Yan. So, adding another layer of authentication can provide increased security for your VC account and transactions. So, yun. So, separate your funds and use cold storage. Again, yung mga wallets, yung mga tresor, ganyan. And VC funds should be separated in two or more digital wallets for transactional purposes, no? as much as possible. So, the main wallet used to store VC funds for future use should be kept offline, yun nga, yung mga cold storage, or properly known as cold storage wallet to minimize vulnerability to theft, hacking, or fraud. So, if you can separate those you want fund ng pang trade mo, pang gamit mo, pang revolve mo, tas meron kang pang long term, we we'll suggest nga na, uh, siya suggest ni BSP na separate yung gawin mong storage sa kanila. So, again, yun lang uh, basic uh, security tips, guys, for your assets, which are currency assets. So, I know we're dealing a lot of uh, transactions online. Minsan, uh, dito sa mga NFTs and cryptocurrencies sa mga games. But again, it never, ano eh, uh, it will pay off naman din no, kung talagang minsan paalalahan lang tayo na magkaroon tayo ng security measures din, security steps. Kasi nga at the end of the day, sa ulit, nasa ulit pa rin ng pagsisisi, di ba? So again, this is just a reminder video guys. I hope may natutunan ka. And if ever may natutunan ka, please do like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below, no? What are other tips na okay, no? Or ma, sa mga subscribers natin, mga viewers natin na mabibigay nyo, no? To secure our assets. Again, thank you guys. God bless. Just a disclosure, past performance is not indicative of future results. You could lose some or all of your invested money buying and selling Bitcoin and other alternative cryptocurrencies and NFTs. Extremely volatile and not be suitable for all people as the price can change drastically in a short amount of time. Never risk more than you can afford to lose. Invest at your own risk. Do your own research. And this is not a financial advice. Thank you.